Trotty. Coach White was just talking about the, the Sunday practice. How, how did he said he, the coaching staff kind of sprung it on you guys that you guys were going to be going full pads that day? How did that kind of come about, I guess? I mean, that's something that we needed to do in the sense where, like, we ain't play our best football on Saturday, man. So we did, we had decided, you know, we got to make up for that lost day. You know, you know our motto is every day is 1% better. We don't care about wins, we care about losses. All we do is care about the tape. The tape didn't look the part, so we had to make up for it. What do you think? Uh, what do you think you got out of that? You know, what was the effect of getting that practice? You know, moving forward. Nothing. The effect was that if we can do it on Sunday after the game, why the hell we can't do it on a Saturday? And that goes for me too. What's the mentality coming into a short week and just knowing you guys have to be ready on Friday? That we have to be ready on Friday. That's the only mentality we got. I mean, nothing changed. The process doesn't change. One percent better every day. That we have to be ready for Friday. Make sure the tape is good. What can uh, what What do you bring as one of the veteran guys? You know, kind of making sure everyone you know locked in, ready to go Friday. Like you were saying. Look, I just gotta do my job, do my part, and do and make sure I do my job, do my part well. We all we all hold ourselves accountable. We all hold each other accountable. But as long as I do my do my job, do my part well, and ex execute my assignments, everything will go flow as well. We all feed off each other. So if I end up making a big play, then we gonna feed off of it. Ty Robinson making a big play, I'm gonna feed off of it. Give me so on for so on. We all feed off each other, you know. So that's it. I guess as a defense, though, I mean, what what do you take from that performance? I mean, it was obviously probably a tough film session, but um, do, you, do you almost kind of learn more, I guess, in a, in a situation like that than if you had come out and you know, played just okay? Well, I'm going to give you a quote that I just learned today. Why do we fall? Or why do you fall? You know the answer to that? So we can learn to pick ourselves back up. That's all, man. I mean, we're going to have tough losses, we're going to have ugly tapes, but if we don't learn from it, then it's no use for it. You know what I mean? We just got to learn from it, use it to our best of our advantage, make sure we do everything correctly so we can roll into the next week and go on there. It's only the, it's only the sixth week, you know what I mean? Because plenty more games left, plenty more season left. We can still, make, we can still do something. Uh, Coach, the principal's been working at Jack again. Yeah. Uh, you're a veteran guy. I mean, what, what have you seen from him since he's kind of been on campus? And he's, he's just a freaky athlete. I mean, I said it in the spring. I'll say it now. He's just a freaky athlete. You know, he could do things that I can't do. You know what I mean? Um, and that's the beauty of it because he's so young. You know what I mean? Um, so, like, his speed, his agility, his, his quickness and everything like that, if he used that to his full advantage with the coaches and everybody else trying to bring out of him, he would be a monster on the field. So that's what we try to bring out. Is that an easy move, I guess, going between the positions of linebacker and defense? I mean, the difference between Jack and the DN is he just drop more. That's it. So, you know, if he just honing on his coverage skills, I mean, I, that's what I had to do when I first went to college and everything like that, hold on to my coverage skills, everything would be all right. All right.